I didn't tell my husband update. Original post. My partner, 31 male, and I, 25 female, are having our second child, and he hasn't been working due to a work injury, so for the last two going on three months, it's been very stressful for us. My paternal aunt gave me half of what she got from selling my grandma's house, her mother. She inherited it last year due to my grandmother passing away, and she's spent six months getting my moochers off a father and brother out of the house and fixing it up. We haven't spoken since the funeral, and last week she called to meet for lunch. And when I went, she handed me a check worth over 200k. I didn't understand, but she said my grandma thought of me as a daughter, and I was the only one other than her that took care of her and my grandpa. And while they didn't have the money to give me, she sold the house and after talking to her husband, decided I deserved half of it. My hormones are everywhere, and she had to help me calm down because we were in so much debt. I felt so thankful. She told me she wasn't giving anything to anyone else and would prefer for me not to tell anyone, so I didn't. I put it in my account, and once it cleared, I began slowly paying off my husband's and my debt. I paid people back that had loaned us money, cleared our credit cards, paid our car off, put 10000 in our daughter's savings account, and planned to make one for our second child when it's born. I didn't tell my husband because we have separate finances, and have since we got together. He doesn't even know what our debts were or how far behind we were, so I didn't think he would notice. But he watches his credit and when he says that it went up and that I had received a letter from my community college that my debt was paid, he asked me. I told him my aunt gave me money but not how much, and he tried accessing my bank account. When he couldn't get in, he took my debit card without me knowing and went to an ADM and saw the balance. He yelled at me for hiding it. I told him it doesn't matter because we were no longer in debt and we could finish our degrees. He walked out and hasn't spoken to me in three days. I requested a new debit card and changed my information regarding my account because now I don't trust him not to try to buy something. I admit I should have told him, but it's not like he knows how much money I make for my job. I don't know what to do. Edit. Okay, so reading the comments, I need to answer some questions. 1. He doesn't like my family at all. I met him when I was a kid because he was my older brother's best friend. Things changed when we got together when I was 19 and they don't speak anymore. He avoids anything to do with my family. 2. Most of our relationship is great. We agreed to have one kid because I dreamed of being a mom. But during the pregnancy, he treated me like crap. And even after our daughter was born, he continuously made me feel like a bad mom for asking him for help when I was exhausted. And he just wanted to play games or drink. He only started helping and being supportive after being separated for a few months and us getting counseling. 3. He and my daughter both have my last name. 4. I wanted joint finances when we got married and he didn't. I was only in debt to 5000 for my college at a time, and he had some, but he told me he had it covered, which I found out he did not. 5. What I meant about him not knowing how much in debt we were is that he'd open credit cards in both our names and max them out, and then when he couldn't use them anymore, he'd apply for more. I did not know this until hiring a firm to help get my credit up. They told me I could press charges or pay them off. I wanted to pay it off because he's my husband. And even if he put us in debt, I do love him. 6. We didn't want more children. He got into a fight with his sister and she did something she shouldn't have, but he also refused to get snipped. We didn't find out I was pregnant until it was too late for another option. 7. We moved in with my mom to help us get things back in track. And he got hurt at work. Yes, I believe he is depressed but he's also blown all the money he had saved on video games, liquor, and pot. He didn't spend a dime on any of the debt he cost or for our daughter. He makes more than I do, but with the way he spends his money, it's like we live in one income. 8. Do I trust him? Yes, I do in almost every way I can, except for money, and he's proven that again and again. I also have been giving him small portions of the money so he can still go and do things he wants to do. It's not like I'm just hoarding it away from him. I just didn't tell him that it wasn't for my paychecks like he assumed. 9. He has the pin to my debit card. Because while I didn't tell him about the money, I do let him use it when he needs to. Now for the top comments before reading the update. Girl, those edits. Any man that secretly opens and maxes out credit cards and makes you miserable for having his child is not the partner you deserve to be with. He straight up doesn't respect you and expects you'll continue to be a doormat. That's why he was mad when you didn't tell him about the inheritance. Because it was you going against him in a way, by not letting him walk all over you like usual. 
All this to say, he sounds like an absolute pile of red flags, and I know it's not easy. But please consider getting in solo therapy to help you consider whether this relationship is healthy for you and your kids. This, this, this. The original post was bad enough, but the edits paint a picture of a selfish and worthless partner with no consideration for anyone other than himself. And Opie is pregnant because Hubs had a fight with his sister and she did something she shouldn't have done. Did she poke holes in his rubbers? Mess with Opie's birth control? Whatever it was, Opie should run, not walk, away from that crazy. His sister poked holes in his rubbers after they got into an argument. I didn't react well to birth control, and because of my age, a doctor won't make it more permanent. Wait, what? He got in an argument with his sister and she responded by poking holes in your rubbers? I'm pretty sure that is illegal in some way. Surely you're not still in contact with this woman. No, we got contact when we discovered I was pregnant. We told his family and she just laughed and threw it in our faces that she had the upper hand. We haven't spoken to her since we found out six months ago. So, instead of being thankful for the money helping you both out while he's not working, he's upset? I can see why you didn't tell him. Exactly. What a moocher. And he even has the audacity to throw a temper tantrum. What does he even bring to the relationship when he doesn't work? doesn't take care of the child or the household, it actually acts like another toddler. It took your family such a long time to get rid of two moochers, and you invited another one in. Sorry if it's harsh, but that's how it is. And the credit cards? Damn, I don't even have words. I would definitely kick him out at that point, and probably even press charges. Now for the update. If you read my post, thanks for the advice, and even if some of the comments weren't that nice, I'm still thankful. Over the last three days, I've spoken to my mom and my in-laws. My husband reached out to her that he didn't want to be with me anymore, but it wasn't because of the money. It was because he felt forced to get married and have a baby. And even though he got pregnant with a second one because of his sister, he still blames me. Six years together and felt like he refused to talk about it, even when we were in counseling. I asked his mom what he wanted to do, because he wasn't answering my phone calls or messages, and she said she sent him money for a plane ticket so he could go to her. I'm heartbroken that she didn't tell him to try harder for his kids. After all, his dad left him and his siblings, but I can't force him to stay and I have to think about them right now. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I spoke to a lawyer my friend used for his divorce yesterday and he's going to help me draw up a divorce plan. He said my husband can go after the money, but he doesn't think he will. I'm filing for full custody and will be asking for a minimum in child support unless he wants to sign his rights over. I'm done being stupid and thinking he would grow up. I packed his things and hired a moving company to take them to his mom's house, so all his stuff will be gone in a few days too. My first clue he didn't want our daughter was that she was not even crying asking where he is. She's just running around with me and my mom. I did send him a little bit of money for his travels and told his mom I'll send the divorce papers as soon as I get them. She just told me okay and hung up. So that's what's been happening the last few days. Haven't spoken to my soon-to-be ex-husband, and I'm now fully on my own since I was 19. I hope everything goes good. Hopefully, I don't have to update again. God damn, this woman married garbage. She's rid of him now at least. Beth is only divorcing her now to get access to that money. In our country, you have no right in your spouse's inheritance. Is this different somewhere? In some places, if the money was used as a marital asset, probably such as paying debts for your spouse like Opie did, it can be claimed as such in the divorce. If Opie is an area like that, her husband knows exactly what he's doing. He claims he doesn't want a divorce because of the money, but that's absolutely what it's about. He knows the only way to get his hands on part of it is by leaving her. Well, hopefully she'll read her posts back every once in a while and realize she's making the right decision, because her husband is a giant man-child. When I read that she trusted him before the update, I literally said, yikes. There were so many things wrong. It felt like Opie was the cartoon dog in the everything is on fire panel saying, this is fine. And a narrator voice was like, it was not fine. Last story. Am I the a-hole for not wanting my husband to go to his ex's funeral? Plus update. I'll admit, I'm biased right off the bat. I couldn't stand her. I call her his ex to myself and others while he called her his friend. We're all in our early 40s and she died recently of aneurysm. I've been with him for 10 years now, but he'd known her for 20 plus. 
the way he tells it. They were friends in college, decided to date, got married, then realized they weren't a great couple and decided to just be friends. All that happened years before I met him. He was clear early on that she was important. A couple months into dating, it came up that his friend was actually his ex-wife. He explained the above to me, saying she was one of his closest friends and that it was purely platonic. I expressed some discomfort at him being so close to an ex, and he told me, that's fine. If you have a serious issue with it, let me know now and save us some time, because I'll choose her. I like you and all, but I've known her for over 12 years, and she's one of the most important people in my life. You'll have to be okay with that if you want us to be a thing. When we were engaged, I asked again. He gave me this perplexed look and asked, why would us getting married affect my friendships? I sucked it up and went along. I resented every moment of knowing her, especially when we had to be social. She understood some part of them I couldn't. Her husband was friends with mine as well, so it's not like I could use him as an angle. He'd have lunch with the ex, they'd go to their geeky movies and whatever. A few times I brought it up, he said. We had this conversation before. You had your chance to back out. She died after they had lunch the other day on the way to her car. He spent a bunch of time crying, but honestly, I was relieved. He was working with her husband on funeral planning. I told him, you don't think you're going, do you? My argument summed up, she's dead, so she's not a factor anymore. He doesn't get to use his she's my friend excuse since she doesn't exist anymore. He had his cry for a couple of days. He gets to be done with mourning her already. There's no need for him to go to her funeral, since I wouldn't want her at his. He was the angriest I've ever seen him when I told him that, replying that he'll be going no matter how I feel, and that he's willing to burn this to the freaking ground while holding up his wedding band. Besides you, she was the closest friend in my life. Him, her husband and my sisters are calling me an insensitive a-hole over this, all saying that there was no romantic aspect to their relationship, and that I'm heartless. Her husband went as far as calling me a ghoul for how I've reacted. I never felt their relationship was appropriate, and I hid that for years because I wanted to be with my husband. Now that she's gone, I don't feel I should have to hide it anymore and can speak freely. Am I the a-hole for wanting him to be done with her and for him to not attend a funeral? Now for the top comments before reading the update. You're the a-hole, and when he divorces you, he probably won't have to explain his friendship with you to the next woman because, seriously, who'd want to stay friends with a woman who had treated you like this? This. How heartless. You're the a-hole, OP, and congrats on your impending divorce. If she doesn't exist anymore, why are you still so jealous of her? He can't even leave you for her now, so I think it's time you got past it. You're the a-hole. You can speak freely and he can leave after finding out how heartless you actually are. Fair enough. I bet he will leave her over this anyway, even when the ex is dead. Cause damn did she prove to be a crappy person. That's the thing though, even if she doesn't exist, that doesn't mean there will be nothing else to worry about. Every anniversary of the death, every birthday of hers that she's no longer here for, etc. Does she expect him to not acknowledge any of that? Because from what it sounds like, he's the type of person who would. Just because she's gone doesn't mean she's gone. Even her death isn't going to be enough for OP. She's going to want him to pretend this person never existed in the first place. And now for the update. We've been together for 10 years, but is choosing to end all of that because of how I reacted to his ex-wife's death. They were friends when we met and his claim was that they dated and gotten married while they were young and dumb, before realizing they worked better as friends than as a couple. He told me that if I wanted a relationship with him, I needed to accept she'd always be part of his life. He do things like go to geeky movies with her, and sometimes her husband, they do their tabletop gaming, all of which I found boring. He and I had a mostly happy marriage, I thought, but I had to deal with her presence and pretending she and her husband were friends. I hated her, and when she died, I was relieved. I didn't want him going to her funeral, saying now that she was out of his life, he was done with her. I was called cold and callous for wanting to put my foot down. Yes, he went to the funeral which I was very uncomfortable with. I asked him not to go again and he just gave me this cold, expressionless stare. She was cremated and my husband was given a little bit of her ashes and a small urn the size of a pale bottle. I told him it was creepy to have them and it flipped me to bird. The past month plus of my life has been a nightmare because of her dying. My husband has barely talked to me, and I've received texts from nearly all our friends and family calling me a monster. All because someone saw my original post on Reddit and shared it with everyone they could, even people at my job. 
Many of the posts here were nice in comparison to the things the people I thought were my friends said. I was just out of town for several days on a work trip. Then on Friday, I came home to a partly empty house, with his car gone and a petty sounding letter saying that we would be getting a divorce. Not that he wanted one, that it was going to happen and he's already filed. He said that my post was one of the most hurtful things he's ever read and that my jealousy of his friendship was insane. He wrote, I freaking watched her die. She was walking by my side when it happened. I have nightmares about it. He said I'd be keeping the house because I don't want to spend every morning waking up to a reminder of the years of lies that was our marriage. He left a list of what he's taking, saying I can't keep the rest. His last line was, if it had been me instead of her, should have been there for you in an instant. Remember that. I learned to staying with her husband because the man sent me a long text telling me to stay away from his home, and he regretted ever letting me into his life. Even my own sister said if she learned I was dating someone, she'd fill him in on what a black-hearted c-word I am. So yeah, my husband is divorcing me because of his first wife's death. She's more important to him, and it seems to our friends, than keeping our marriage together is. She's screwing up my life even from the grave.